Gonna style hot dogs today. You'll need all beef hot dog. You'll need some hot dog buns, yellow mustard, pickle relish, chopped onions, tomatoes, dill pickles, and pepperoncinis. Okay, we got our tomatoes. We got our pepperoncinis, we got our uh, dill pickles, we got our relish, and we got our onions and our mustard. And our all beef hot dogs. You gotta have all beef hot dogs for this Chicago style hot dogs. You gotta have some beef flavoring. Okay, you're gonna need some water. You're going to need one teaspoon of beef bouillon powder. Don't forget, you have to have celery salt. To my tomatoes, I'm going to add my celery salt. Gotta have that to make a Chicago style hot dog. Celery salt. Let these come up to a boil. Now, you're supposed to use for the buns, poppy seed buns, but they do not sell them at the store. So, you can't buy them in the stores. To make hot dog buns with poppy seed recipe, you'll need one cup of lukewarm water, two and one half teaspoons of instant yeast, one tablespoon of sugar, and one fourth cup of instant mashed potatoes. Now you let it set on the side in a bowl for 15 minutes before you add one teaspoon of salt, two cups of bread flour, one fourth cup of salmonella flour, S-E-M-O-L-I-N-A, salmonella, salmonella flour, then uh Mix the four first ingredients in the mixer. Let it work 15 minutes. Then you add the next three ingredients to your till your dough is smooth. Let it let it uh, cover for 20 minutes. Put a cover over it. And let it sit for 20 minutes. Then add oil and knead until fully incorporated. Cover bowl and let it rise. Then you add one tablespoon of olive oil. Then you uh, let it double in size. Preheat the oven to 350. Sprinkle some cornmeal on a sheet pan. Flour your workstation and knead the dough. Briefly, then divide it into eight equal pieces to make your hot dog buns. Form each piece into a long five to six inch long, depending on how long your uh, hot dogs are. It's how long you need your buns. 
Keep in mind that the buns will expand in the length as they rise and bake. If you want poppy seeds, like the recipe calls for, put poppy seeds, brush the buns with an egg wash, one beaten egg in one tablespoon of water to keep seeds on bun. Bake at 350 for 40 to 45 minutes until your buns are golden brown. So you'll need to let it rise twice, and then you can bake them. That's how you make your uh, Chicago-style hot dog buns, which they don't sell in the store, so you have to make them yourself. You need your buns to steam, so this is why I'm doing this. You don't want them soggy, but you want them steamed. Make a little bit softer. You go with mustard first, then relish, then onions, then tomatoes, then pickles, then peppers, and celery salt. But I've got the celery salt and the tomatoes. Okay, we're going to uh, put mustard first. As soon as our hot dogs get hot enough. You can poke little holes in them if you want to to get the beef flavor inside of them if you want to. Okay, let's see if we can make this now. This is the relish. And pickles. Then tomatoes. Try to stuff them inside if you can. Okay, now I 
onions then pepper chains okay there's one okay let's see if we can get this one made now okay we got hot dog I'll be then we add mustard relish okay then your onions then tomatoes Dump them in the side. There's a net in your driving me nuts. Okay, now you put your pickles. Okay, then uh, your peppers. Well, pepper chinies. Now remember, they've got plenty of fluid inside them. Plenty of juice. Okay, that's how you make it. Now, to make it a real one, we're going to also put a little bit of our onion salt on top. There you go. There's your Chicago style hot dog. Okay, here's mine. I got my celery salt on top and all. Ronnie loved his and Them is good. Perfect. Might be a little time consuming, but it's well worth it. Thanks for watching Tanya's Home Cooking on YouTube. Bye.